Welcome to Melodic Interactive, I'm Garrett Peake. Today we're going to talk about a subject that I get asked questions about daily, which is, which drumstick is right for me? It's a very difficult question and there is no one answer to it, so we're going to kind of go through a couple of the different questions that we have to make sure that you're finding the one that is the best stick for you. And that is the actual key. What is the best stick for you? There are many different types of sticks, many different types of wood, many different lengths, many different tips. What you first want to do is make sure that you don't use the same stick early on. Whatever you buy the first time, try something different the second time. Same for the third time. But now let's try to get a breakdown of the best way to hold the sticks and also of which sticks are different and what the choices are. When it comes to sticks, we have several different choices like we spoke of. One of the things that we have is what type of wood it is, what type of tip, and sizes. Now when it comes to sizes, there's really four main sizes. There's 2B, there's 5B, there's 5A, and there's 7A. There are more sizes than this, but for the most part, that's the, the most common sizes that we see. So what are the sizes for? Well, the 2B is a very large stick. It's not the size of a marching stick, but it's a definitely a thicker stick. When we use the 2Bs, we generally have this with a snare drum player that's pretty young, might be five through seven through eight um, years of age, because their hands are smaller. So the bigger stick in their hand is easier for them to control. So if you're between the ages of five and eight, you might want to go ahead and try a 2B at first. And then as you age and your hands get a little bit bigger, will shrink down in sizes a little bit. The next size down is what we call a 5B. A 5B is a little bit smaller than a 2B. It's a little bit smaller a lot of times in length, and it's also smaller in diameter. The 5B is a very popular stick for both snare drum players and for drum set players. Generally, we see with the 5B um, on drum set, somebody that hits pretty hard or that needs a stick that's going to last quite a bit. Um, it's a general purpose size, so really anybody can use a 5B. The next size down and the most popular size is the 5A. The 5A is a great stick for drum set players as well as snare drum players. Um, it's usually a little bit shorter than a 5B. Notice that this one's a little bit longer because this is the one that I use, which is a, what they call a 5A Red Intense, which is an elongated stick. So it's designed to be longer than most 5As are. Um, they are also shorter in diameter and they're a little bit lighter than a 5B. Um, a 5A is generally something that most beginners that are above the age of eight, you're gonna wanna just try a 5A out and see how it feels. If you wanna go a little bit heavier, then you can go to the 5B, but it's a good kind of starting point for all, all drummers. The last stick size that we have today is the 7A. The 7A is actually a pretty short stick, a pretty small stick. Um, even without this being a 5A Red Intense, which is a longer stick, generally the 7A is going to be a lot shorter than a 5A. It's also gonna be quite a bit smaller in diameter and lighter. Um, the 7A, a lot of times we see uh, people think because they're smaller that they would be for kids or for with smaller hands. That's actually not the case. Um, like we said earlier that the 2B, the bigger size would be better for the smaller hands. The 7A is really just a light stick that if you wanna do some like jazz playing or some real light work, I don't see a lot of drum set rock drummers using these, but if you do like them and you wanna use them for drum set, they will work as well. But generally this is a lighter stick for more softer playing, more jazz type playing. One of the other decisions that we have when it comes to drumsticks is what type of tip that we're going to have. One end of the spectrum would be something like this, which is like a ball. The other end would be like a teardrop. It's complete opinion, and it's everybody's own opinion of what they like better. Whether you like the ball, which tends to have a specific sound on the cymbals, a lot different than the teardrop, or whether it's the feel that the tip gives you. You definitely wanna try both types of tips, and there's every type of in between that's made to see which one's the right for you. I like a little bit more of the ball because I like the sound that it gives me on the cymbals. I don't like to go with a complete ball because then that damages the drum heads a lot quicker than a teardrop does. There are other options that come in also. Now, when it comes to the different woods, I like to use the red hickory, which is a very strong wood that doesn't get penetrated, so it doesn't need a lot of wax, but there's maple, which is a nice soft wood for your hands, and there's all kinds like hickory, anything you can think of really they make drumsticks out of but there's also the wax itself or the grip 
This is the 5A Intense. This doesn't have a very deep wax, so I get a lot of the stick on there. I'm not getting a lot of any kind of gripping material on top of it, which is the way that I like it. But there are also other sticks, like they're dipped sticks, like this one, which is a 5A Hickory, which if you notice, they dipped it in a yellow, which has a grip, so that has a lot more of a, of a sustained feel. I feel like I can hold that stick a little bit better. Um, not a choice that I like to do personally, but a lot of people, it's very popular to have these grips. Or you can go with a um, complete grip where the whole stick has that grip or that paint on it, which gives a nice different feel from everything else. So now that we've decided what size we're going to try, for me it's the 5A Red Intense, which is a longer 5A from Los Cabos. I like the tips, I like the wood, which is the Red Hickory, and I like the wax, and I like the grip. Pretty much everything, this is a perfect stick for me. We're going to talk about where you're going to hold the stick. Now, holding the stick and where we actually grip it is very important, because the stick itself has to be able to work. So, if I do a rolling motion, notice that the stick is very lively and ready to bounce and ready to play at my will. If I start to scoot my hand up on that stick, at some point here, the stick itself can no longer do that because the balance is all thrown off, so I'm way too high. Now, if I do that exact same thing and start working backwards, the same will happen as well. If I start to move backwards, the stick itself can no longer handle that motion because the balance is thrown off, so I'm way too far back on that. It's about two to four inches that we want. That's about where we should start with our grip. Now, notice that I'm putting the stick in my fingertips here. I'm not putting it back in my hand like a fist. I've got it in my fingers. So what I do is I put my fingers in there. I kind of rest my thumb there. I turn my hand down and I use just my wrist and almost like a whip where I use not, not my arm, just the wrist and I snap the stick onto the drum. Notice that I'm not pushing the stick into the head and I'm not using my whole arm I'm just using my wrist. And that's a good warm up for us, is we basically get our grip, our elbows out, our hands down, stick should form a V a couple inches above the head, and we go one, two, three, four with our right hand, and one, two, three, four with our left hand. So that's it for today about stick selection. I hope you learned something and remember that the biggest key is, is whatever stick early on that you try, make sure you try whether it's a different tip, a different length, a different wood, a different stick next time so that way you can develop different preferences and see what you like and what you don't like. All right, well stick with us and I'm Garrett Peake from Melodic Interactive.